Well, hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. Today I'll be in the kitchen. I'm going to share the complete decorated kitchen for Christmas. Previously, you have seen the breakfast area as well as the hearth room. And so today I'm going to finish off with the countertops and the island. So I'm going to have a cup of coffee and then I'm going to make a little simmering pot just to set the tone for the Christmas season. So I'm putting together just a few items that I had in my cupboard. Um, you could use oranges or apples, but I didn't have those. So I'm using lemons and some cranberries and then a few spices. And I tell you, this will make your kitchen smell so good. You will be in the Christmas spirit. And so just place everything in water and let it simmer. You don't need a fancy glass pot to put it in. Any pot will do and I promise you will thank me later. All right guys, so I have already decorated the countertops. I wanted to save a little time so that I could go into detail about some of the items on the countertop as well as have time at the end for the giveaway. So you guys know the kitchen is the heart of the home and this is where we spend a lot of our time. So having this kitchen decorated in a very festive way was something that I really wanted to do. In some of the areas of my home, I wanted to go a little lighter, but I did go a little heavier in the kitchen. Now starting here at the mixer, I normally have a tray and some other things here and I don't typically keep my uh, KitchenAid mixer out but because of Christmas, I did want to bring it out. And it's because of my mom. Um, this mixer was given to me by my mom. My mom really wanted me to get into baking, but she did give me a nice recipe and, and I'm gonna try and share that recipe with my new daughter-in-law. So that's why I brought that out. I wanted a piece of my mom here in the kitchen for Christmas. She and my dad are no longer with us. And so I thought this was a way to bring her into my space. I have fond memories of just gathering and cooking for the holidays with my mom. And then as far as my dad, I think I mentioned this to you guys in another video. And you guys told me that you had a similar memory of nuts in a bowl and candy canes or fruit and nuts and candy canes. My dad would do something like that in our dining room and that would kind of be our decoration. And um, I just wanted to bring a little bit of him into the kitchen as well. And so over here, I was going to decorate with the gingerbread theme and I went a different direction, but I had picked this little gingerbread um, house. It's just a little uh, front. Um, I picked that up last year from Home Goods, and I wanted to bring it out again this year, but I didn't bring out all of the gingerbread themes. You may have seen over here that I have the little gingerbread houses, and I had those from last year, and I wanted to pick up a few other things this year, but I decided to go a different direction. And then I have some little ramekin cups. I know we're going to do some little sauces and dips um, over the holiday with my daughter-in-law. 
I picked up these dish towels from Bella B's. You guys know I take you there. That's a local store here. And I placed them here one day and I like the way they look so I just kept them there for decor. So over here by the sink, I just have some hand soap and of course paper towel. And then normally I love to do fresh greenery but I haven't picked any up yet so I just put this here for now. But I think I will do um, my husband's not here. I'm going to have him go and grab some fresh greens from outside. So in this corner here, I just decided to place a few little Christmas items. All of my kids love Oreos. They probably won't appreciate the thins, but that's what I like. And then I picked these little cups up from Home Goods a couple weeks ago. I know we love having these to-go cups uh, for coffee, hot chocolate, whatever, when we do our little horse-drawn wagon ride to look at Christmas lights, we usually like to take a little warm drink, and so those would be great for that, or running out like I normally do early in the morning sometimes with coffee to do some Christmas shopping. And of course, I added a little Santa and a candle. Now moving here to the coffee area, I did bring in um, a little word sign that I know most people say, you know, leave those out, but if it means something to you, it's fine. It's your home, you can do whatever you like. And so I love this sign. I have used this sign for many years. I've been decorating with it. And so I brought it out this year. And it says, Jesus is the reason for the season. And he absolutely is. So. There's never decorating for Christmas in my home without acknowledging Christ. The main reason for this season is Christ. I love to start my day with Christ. So it's the perfect place to put this sign. Okay, so I have the countertops done. Now I wanna do a little centerpiece for the island. Okay, so I picked up these two um, trees or evergreen trees from Hobby Lobby. I put one in the pot and I like the way it looks. So I decided to put two of them in the pot and I think that looks fine as well. So I'm gonna fluff it a little bit and then add some other things to the tray. Okay, so the rug turned out beautiful, better than I thought, especially coming from Ross.
right guys so let's talk about the giveaway now you guys have been very supportive of me and my channel and I truly appreciate that and I wish that I could give a gift to each and every one of you guys but that's not possible so I wanted to send a little gift but I thought a gift card would be better it would be easy to ship as well as for you guys to use it and so with this Visa gift card you can use it wherever you like and so I have a $50 gift card now if you guys want your name in the drawing I need you to type I love Christmas and that's it and then I will put your name in the drawing I will use a contest picker to pull the winner and then I will announce the winner on Wednesday the day before Thanksgiving so guys please make sure you have your bell notifications turned on so that you don't miss out on the winner announcement now i do need you to be a subscriber in order to qualify for the drawing so i will make sure i have the details down below but what you're going to do is comment below i love christmas and then you're going to wait until wednesday you're going to come back and see if you are the winner and then if I call your name, I will need you to contact me by email. I'm gonna put my email address in the description box as well. Once you contact me, I will send out the gift card. Now, if I don't hear from you by Friday midnight, I'm going to move on and pull another name. And so I have to say, please do not enter if you are not going to follow up because that just wastes my time and everyone else's. So when you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell twice and you will see the bell will be colored in black when you have authorized YouTube to send notifications every time I upload a video. So good luck everyone. And if you have any questions, please let me know leave a comment down below but i will have all of the instructions in the comment section as well thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys on wednesday all right guys so my husband went and got some clippings from outside and they do smell really good now i'm going to share with you how i plan to use them around the sink and maybe i'll put some in a couple of vases